tonight's Powering the Permian report, oil prices continue to drop this week. We're told this comes after the market was hit with another round of disappointing inflation and economic data. Right now, a barrel of crude is sitting at $79.20. According to Bloomberg, that's down nearly $3 since markets opened. Right now, there are 317 rigs up and running in the Permian Basin, down 19% from last year. But as time goes on, there's still some uncertainty ahead. Let's look at what's going on in the Middle East, not only with the potential disruption in oil supply, but also broadly supply chain disruptions, given the importance of the Red Sea. This also comes as gas prices continue to rise across the country, but are keeping steady here locally. Right now, the average price for a gallon of gas in Hector County is sitting at $3.24. Andrews County drivers are seeing the same prices. Midland is trailing just behind at $3.23. Meanwhile, Howard County paying some of the lowest prices in the state at $2.11. Meanwhile, oil and gas firm Diamondback Energy said this week it has received a second request from the U.S. Federal Trade Commission in connection with that $26 billion deal to buy privately held in deer. Endeavor, rather. The U.S. antitrust regulator has asked for additional information and documentary material as part of its review of the proposed merger. The combined company would be the third largest oil and gas producer in the Permian Basin of West Texas and New Mexico, behind Exxon and Chevron. U.S. lawmakers have sought increased scrutiny of multi billion dollar deals in the oil and gas industry from the FTC. This is the fifth oil and gas deal since December to get a second request from the FTC. We're going to keep you updated on this story as we continue to learn more. And be sure to tune in every Wednesday for a new Powering the Permian report right here on ABC Big 2.